Not all birds migrate when the weather gets cold. Those that remain have challenging months ahead. So how do they make it through winter? In colder weather, we layer up to trap warm air between our clothes. Some birds grow extra feathers and fluff them up for the same effect, such as the house sparrow, who increases its plumage weight by 70% as the colder weather kicks in. These feathers are well evolved to insulate. Plumilies, which are more commonly known as down feathers, consist of limber barbs and heat trapping barbulos that help to keep the bird warm. Most birds have pinaceous feathers protecting their body. These have hooks on the barbulos that connect them together, forming a barrier that keeps the wind and rain out. They preen regularly to ensure the hooks are connected as they should be, which not only keeps them dry and warm, but also ensures their feathers are well maintained for flight. Whilst preening, birds take oil from their uropigial gland and spread it over their feathers to keep them waterproofed. In addition, this keeps the wind out and the warmth in, much like when we don a waterproof jacket in cold and rainy weather. Some birds, such as herons, have feathers with tips that disintegrate. These are referred to as powder down and allow the birds to cover their feathers with this fine powder during preening. This also protects against wet weather. As it's warmer under their protected feathers, birds utilise this heat and tuck in their bills to breathe the toasty air. While some birds, like the ptarmigan, have feathers over their legs and feet, not all birds have this luxury. Many birds' legs and feet are covered in specialised scales that reduce heat loss. Birds also have the ability to control the temperature of their legs and feet separately from the rest of their body. By using countercurrent heat exchange, they are able to ensure that the blood from their chilly feet is warmed up as it travels to their body and that blood is cooled down before it reaches their feet. This means less heat is lost overall. If their feet get really cold, birds will often tuck one foot at a time into their feathers or will huddle down to cover both feet at once. Shelter can go a long way to making winter more bearable for birds. Some choose to hide away in tree cavities. New housing has made it difficult for birds to find shelter within roofs, which partially accounts for a decline in some species. However, where there is the opportunity, birds will use this as an option. Alternatively, thick vegetation or locations that have maintained heat from sunny days, such as tree trunks, host birds looking to warm up. Some birds even roost in snow holes which keeps them warmer than they would otherwise be on the surface. You might wonder why birds don't build nests to shelter in. It is likely that building and maintaining a nest would take too much energy, which would cause them to lose even more heat. All birds are challenged to keep warm in the winter months, but for smaller birds it can be even harder as they have a smaller core to generate heat for a larger surface area that is constantly losing heat. Therefore, when the sun comes out, Every bit needs to be soaked up to warm up. Birds will turn their backs to the sun and sometimes spread out their tail feathers, bringing their wings down to create the maximum surface area possible to expose to the sun. Generating and maintaining body heat is easier in a group. Many birds gather together when it's cold to share warmth. As birds prepare to roost, they can create spectacular flight displays or murmurations. Highly territorial birds, like robin and wrens, are known to put aside their differences in aid of survival and roost together. When it's especially cold, birds take to an action familiar to humans and begin to shiver. The effects are temporary though, and whilst they may initially get warmer, the overall movement burns much needed energy which will eventually reduce their ability to keep their body warm. Food is essential to providing birds with the ability to maintain a reasonable body temperature. They require food for energy and energy to keep warm. Whilst it's more difficult for birds to find food during winter, our obsession with feeding birds in the UK helps them to survive where otherwise mortality could be a lot higher. There are some species that prepare for colder weather by storing food away such as crows, and a lot of birds eat more whilst food is available so they can build some fat reserves. The amount of fat they can store is limited by their need to be able to fly though. This means that much of a bird's day in the winter can be taken up by searching for food, but then no one ever said survival would be easy. Birds can enter a state of torpor when other ways of fending off the cold are not quite effective enough. 
This means that they reduce their overall body temperature and are inactive, requiring fewer calories. The metabolic rate reduces, allowing them to conserve energy. Entering a state of torpor can be dangerous though. It results in slower reactions and makes birds vulnerable to predators. Even though birds have various tools in their kits for getting through winter, the colder months are still difficult to survive. If there are extended periods of cold weather, everything that we have discussed in this video still may not be enough. Therefore, every bit of help we can offer would no doubt be appreciated. As birds require food to keep their energy up, the best way we can help is by feeding birds high calorie food daily. Peanuts, suet and sunflower seeds are all great high fat foods that give those garden birds a fighting chance. Birds do have the ability to melt snow to drink, but this action requires energy, so keeping water available in the garden is helpful. Your choice of plants and trees in your garden can also aid birds in getting through the winter. Planting foliage that results in berries attracts certain birds and can keep them well fed when it's most important. The right trees and shrubs, such as conifers, provide birds with shelter. Alternatively, or in addition, you could purchase a roosting box to give the birds another option for a shelter to keep them out of the cold.